Okay, YouTube, you're not gonna believe it, but I'm back, and I hope you guys are doing amazing. Okay, so for you that don't know, my name is Matt Maddox. Maybe you just happened upon this video, somebody shared it, or you did a search, and here I am. So, first of all, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me. I know that you're busy and you've got a lot going on, but I'm gonna get right into the content. So in this video, I want to give you five very practical things that you can do to, you know, have a spiritual practice or spiritual rituals or routines. Now, you know, the word spiritual, it's so broad. Everybody has a different opinion about it. And of course, some get very passionate uh, because of different beliefs and what have. And I respect all those people. What I want to give you is something that all of you can do now that will help you to become more spiritual. Now, why would you want to even pause in your busy life to pay attention to your spiritual life? Well, that's because, you know, first and foremost, we are spiritual beings. That we are not just our bodies. We're also our, our souls and our, our heart and our mind and our our spirituality so I have found that when I am aligned spiritually and when I am doing my spiritual practices I find that I'm happier I have more peace I have more power I get more done I seem to be a better dad I I feel better as a human my emotions are healthier when I do my spiritual practices now these are my five and I encourage you to take a look at them uh, I know they work. I know that these five things put me into a state spiritually and they're in no certain order. So let's get into it. Number one is for me is prayer. Now, whatever your belief is, I do strongly believe that God is real. And if you guys, you know, if that's not something you believe in, whatever, whatever you refer to it, listen, the key is that you take these five spiritual practices and you put them into your life. But for you that do believe in God and for you that are open, you know, to prayer, let me just encourage you guys. I see so many people way overcomplicate the whole prayer thing. For me, I've learned to just literally sit down and have a conversation with God as if I was having a conversation with my own son. I literally just talk to him. I don't go into like Oh God, the great oh one heavenly father, you know, yeah, I just talk to him like I'm talking to you guys. I ask him questions. I tell him how I feel. I tell him what I want. You know, I ask him to guide me. I ask him to lead me. I ask him to give me wisdom. And I just don't overcomplicate it. You know, I don't turn my prayer into religion with a bunch of rigid rules and whatever. I keep it fresh. I'll take a block of time and I'll just talk to God about what's going on in my life and asking him how, what I should do about this and what he thinks about this. Quite frankly, I feel better when I do it and I feel powerful and I often, well not often, always, anytime I've paused and asked God for wisdom, 100% of the time I've been blessed with the knowledge or the wisdom of what to do or what not to do. The second spiritual practice is giving to the poor. Um, you know, I went through a situation where I took a break from church. I went probably over a year without going to church because I needed to heal from religion and I needed to heal from just some things that I saw and experienced. And I needed to kind of find my own faith. I've always served the poor, but you know what really helped me stay grounded and and blossom spiritually was taking time to go to these shelters where these people live truly in poverty and it was healing for me I found myself spiritually refreshed whenever I would go and I would sit with the homeless and talk to them and I would bring them food and I would take them out to lunch and I would hang out with them for a little bit and laugh and talk which by the way, there's kind of a bonus here. Laughter is a very, very powerful spiritual practice. You guys don't know how spiritually refreshed you could feel just by laughing more in your life. The third medita meditation, I gave it away. 
The third practice for me is meditation. I feel spiritually refreshed and grounded and fulfilled when I meditate. When I take time to be in the moment and unplug from life, trusting that God and divine source has it all worked out, and I give myself that time to just be, to reflect, which leads me to number four, and that's gratitude. Um, whenever I'm in daily gratitude and I'm speaking what I'm grateful for and I'm thinking about what I'm grateful for and I write down what I'm grateful for, I don't know of too many things besides serving the poor in prayer that puts me into a deeper spiritual connection like gratitude does. And we hear about gratitude. There's gratitude movements. It's everywhere. But yet, in our own everyday life, we get so busy that we forget to actually slow down and practice gratitude. Last but not least is forgive and let go. You see, when you forgive people that have hurt you rather than being revengeful and talking bad about them or hating them or um, having ill feelings towards them, when you forgive and you let it go and you wish truly from your soul for them to be blessed and to be happy and you pray for them and you know you you have peace towards them even though they hurt you and it doesn't make it right at all god doesn't expect you to you know you don't have to all of a sudden have this loving feeling for these people it's just that you know what i forgive i'm not going to dwell on it i'm not going to hold this against them i'm not going to talk about it i'm going to let it go. And I found that when I'm in a state of forgiveness and peace and I'm peaceful towards others, I am more spiritual and I have more spiritual flow in my life. And as a result, it impacts my money, my mind, my energy, my health, my your health is impacted by your spirituality. So, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. My call to action for you is three quick things. Number one, write in the comments the num number one thing you got out of this. Number two, take the link, post it on one of your social media or share it with a friend. And number three, click the link that's in the description. And I want you to come to one of our missions trips called Maddox Missions. And I want you to come serve with us and hang out with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video, my friends.